everybody it's crystal with crystals diversity creations so i was about to um figure out how i was going to do my um platform crocs but um this came in a package and it came with one chain and then it had um just some gibbets with it really cute and i was thinking wow this isn't really all that much right like this is actually just um, two gibbets with some chain. And I was like, I bet I can make one of those. So that's how I got here where I am. Make one of those because I actually like the chain effect. So it'd be pretty cool if you could like just make one up yourself. And then I'm going to try to put it on with some UV um, resin. To see how that works so my thought was to use these um charms because i kind of noticed that here they're hooked on to something um so either you would have to put a jump ring on it but it would have to have something that you could put a jump ring on these were pretty cool because since like this already has a loop you don't have to worry about the um, chain or the jump ring coming off of there. So I figured it would be kind of cute if maybe once I had the heart and once I had the key. Or they both, I guess they both could have the same thing. But let's just see how it even works. Um, so we got this. And I want to... Um, I'm going to put it on black. And I guess what I'm thinking is I should put the jump ring on now. So that way I don't have to um, pull on it once I get it under the UV light. So I'm going to just get two. I'm going to get two jump rings this size. Is that bigger? Yeah, that's bigger. I just want, don't want is I want as little extra space as possible. Just trying to open this. Get that there. And then this. So I just need to. Get in here and close it. That's what I'm trying to do. So that's in there. So I'm going to take this off. Okay. So this will actually go on the one gibbet like that right 
and do the same thing on the other side. So let me see how much we're supposed to have right there. It's good. So I need to open this link here. I'm just using this for size okay that's the same so now we want to um, put the other and this is actually nice too because it comes with the little um, loop at the bottom of it so we can just take this one here and fit it on Just do like this. Okay. Now, um, so there we have we have this part here already done and I, I've not done this with the UV light I'm just trying it for the first time so we're gonna see um, how this actually works so that's how you find out if stuff work or not put a UV on here I'm gonna do the ends first before I actually put the chain on just make it a little bit easier and I'm doing four minutes on the um, drying. So that seemed to have worked. I mean, it seems like it's on there pretty good. And there you have it. Croc chain. There we have it. That's pretty cool. So my other thought with this was how cool will it be to have your name on this well let's do this first let's see how i look in here Look at that. How stinking cute. Look. Now that is cute. That is really, really cute. If I don't say so myself. So next I was thinking. How cute would it be. To put the name. On the. Little thing here. So, let's see how that works. So, these actually came with little jump rings on them. So, all I really got to do is open them up. Let me see. Did I have the right amount of links? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, that means I should start on the third one because my name has seven letters the only thing is whether or not this jump ring is going to be large enough to get around that let's see if not we'll use some of the ones that we have over here let's see let's see shoot it's hard enough just to get my little tool in here. Should be the third one. Oh, that's the 
that's going to be a close fit. I'm going to go with the bigger. I'm going to go with the larger one. Just one up. But this is going to be a tight fit. Now granted, I don't really want it moving by so much. But that's even smaller than I think I want. Probably want the same that we had for the other one, let's say. That looks about the same size. Let's start with this one. Let's try it. And then it's going in the third one. cute so I'm gonna go ahead and um do the rest I'm gonna put it on time lapse Okay, here we go. I was holding my breath the whole time. So, I'm trying to flip them back. So, how cute is that? Ain't that nice? All right, let's put it on the shelf. See what we got. See, I wanted it to kind of lay somewhere flat. That's what I wanted. Okay. This was exciting to do because I've never seen it done before and I love the way it turned out. So I'm going to use some... Um, E6000, and I'm going to use some Gemtech and see how that goes through. Because I do plan to um, do some rhinestones on the side here. So this is just a dollar store sander. Probably could have hit that a little bit harder. Do the other one. So basically stand the whole shoe and then wipe it down with alcohol. So here you're just seeing me apply the um, gibbets that I had. And I'm just kind of, you know, scattering them about, seeing where they look good, moving them around. 
I'm just trying to find overall good placement for them so that there's enough bling on both shoes and enough assortment and it's just really a personal preference thing right now. So here I wanted to add a little something to the strap, but that hole um, is a little bit smaller than the regular holes. So I had to really fight to get it in and I decided to start using a tool to kind of, um, the bling tool to kind of push it through. So that helped a lot um, with helping it get through. My um, gibbets had prongs, so you want to be careful because it did loosen the prongs a bit. So I changed my mind, and instead of going with the rhinestone, the um, instead of going with this rhinestone, I'm going to be using this rhinestone. Um, I felt like I want them to be more so something that I can use all the time, as opposed to something that's so, so flashy, because I got the other pair that are already, you know, pretty pretty blingy so I don't want a second pair of extremely blingy so I'm gonna use this so here I'm just using the e6000 and I have the um, jewelry one because it has a thin nozzle so that I'm using that spreading it out a little bit to go ahead and apply the trim around the shoe Okay, so we got the rhinestone on all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of it. I'm going to put some rhinestone here. I have this was on a string. And I cut them. And they're going to go in between there like that. And then I have a single row that's going to go here like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So this is it with the little pieces on and the trim. So I feel like that gave it a nice little sparkle, but it still made a more um, casual, I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of casual, but you know what I mean? Cute, but not overdoing it. Like if I were to put this on it, this was like taking it way, way up. So... And now I'm going to think about, I'm going to do the other shoe. And then I'm going to think about what I'm going to put in these other holes. So I'm going to add these little um, butterflies with the black. And I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm going to put the other one like down here somewhere. So I'm going to add those.
So this has actually um, been a uh, silicone makeup uh, brush that I got from the dollar store that I'm using to kind of just rub off the um, excess and also spread out the glue when I was applying the butterfly. So these were just some random charms that I had that were like um, tiny ones. So I'm going to see if I can't place them around and maybe put them on top of some of the holes. So I'm going to see what I got here. There's some cute ones in here. Let's see. So I'm putting all black um, gibbets down here so that... Um, when the, when the name goes over it, it'll be noticeable. I realize when I try to put something a little bright, the letters already in that silver, it makes it a little hard to see it. So I'm going to go with black. And I'm just kind of putting this right on top of here. And I use the... Um, the Aileen's or this jewelry and metal glue and then I top it off with some of the E6000 and since they're gonna sit overnight anyhow it's okay should be okay I should say um, it was okay when I did my other shoes let's say that and um, then I can take them out it's one thing if I gotta glue something down like over here and here but I prefer to have a gibbet because I be changing my mind, y'all. And then I might not want that no more. So I just take and um, with any of these little charms, you can pop off the little clip so that you have a clean thing. And if you have a file or a sander, you can just go like that to smooth it out a little bit if it's extremely rough. If not, you could just leave it. It's not like you're really going to be touching it or anything like that and since red is my favorite color I'm going to add in some of the red lips and red such just to give it a little life I did the same thing with my other ones and they were fine um, these are some studs that I had made the other day um, I definitely need my wine so I'm going to put that up top there again you got your little teeny on all of these little charms. You see how you got the little um, hole up there or hoop. You just grab it. Try to get very close to it like that. And then just go back and forth with it. And it'll come right off. And so then I'm going to just put this right there. Gotta have a little bit of wine these days. So, I'm going to add this little pocket book because that's cute. And I'm going to just keep working. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to time lapse. Just in case something good happens. I don't want you to miss it. So, I'm actually just doing the finishing touches. Adding some of the rhinestones. And I used the gem tech to actually add them. And I've worn them since. And the rhinestones seem to stay in place. Freaking hot. So here are the final shoes. I am just thrilled with how they turned out. Um, I love how there's just that hint of red, but a nice little bling, subtle trim. I just love, love, love how they turned out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching Crystal's Diversa Creations. Take care.